Senior Minister Li Xianlong recently addressed a crowd of over 2,000 residents at the highly anticipated official opening of the Buangkok Community Club, CC, marking a significant milestone in the area's development. The Buangkok CC is an integrated project that represents a substantial investment in community infrastructure, aiming to enhance the lives of the residents in this vibrant and evolving neighborhood. Located conveniently next to the Buangkok MRT station, the Buangkok Community Club is not just an ordinary community facility, it's a hub of activity and connection that symbolizes the government's commitment to building cohesive and thriving communities across Singapore. The CC is co-located with the Sengkang Grand Mall, which further amplifies its appeal as a one-stop destination for residents to engage in a variety of activities, access services, and enjoy retail and dining options. The Buangkok CC was originally part of the Pasir Rispungal GRC, a ward under the People's Action Party, PAP. However, in a significant political shift during the 2020 general election, the area became part of the newly created Sengkang GRC. The Workers' Party, WP, are won this new GRC with 52.13% of the vote, defeating the PAP, which garnered 47.87%. This victory was particularly notable as it led to the ousting of three PAP appointment holders, including former minister Ng Chi Meng, highlighting the evolving political landscape in Singapore. The construction of the Buangkok CC was delayed from its original completion date in 2022 due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the construction industry. The pandemic created widespread disruptions, leading to delays in many infrastructure projects across the country. Despite these challenges, the government remained steadfast in its commitment to completing the project, ensuring that residents would soon have access to the new facilities. Now fully operational, the 5,000-square-meter Buangkok Community Club offers a wide range of amenities designed to cater to the diverse needs of the community. These include retail outlets, food and beverage options, and the Buangkok Hawker Center, which has already become a popular spot for locals to gather and enjoy affordable, delicious meals. The integration of these facilities within the CC is part of a broader strategy to create multi-use spaces that serve various aspects of daily life, making it easier for residents to live, work, and play within their local neighborhoods. In his speech, Senior Minister Li Xianlong underscored the government's dedication to improving the quality of life for all Singaporeans, regardless of the political affiliation of their constituencies. He emphasized that the ultimate goal of the government is to ensure that every resident feels a sense of belonging and connection to their community, highlighting that the facilities at Buangkok CC are a testament to this commitment. Senior Minister Lee also expressed his confidence in the current grassroots advisors in Sengkang GRC, mentioning Almi, Pin Minit, and Theodora by name. He assured residents that these advisors would continue the work of their predecessors, Thiem Po, TEO Sir Luck, and KOH Jury Meng in serving the community with dedication and that they would have the full support of the government in their efforts. Interestingly, Marcus Lowe, who was introduced last year as the new branch chair for the PAP in Sengkang GRC, was present at the event but was notably absent from Senior Minister Lee's speech. Mr Lowe, who took over the Sengkang East Division from Mr Ling Wei Hong in October 2023, serves as the Director and Head of Strategic Communication, Public Affairs, and Corporate Marketing at Temis, a digital transformation services firm majority owned by state investor Temasek. Despite his significant role within the PAP and his presence at the event, Mr. Lowe did not wear the party's colors during the Buangkok CC opening, leading to speculation about his future role within the PAP. The omission of his name from SM Lee's speech has sparked further discussion about whether Mr. Lowe will represent the PAP in the upcoming general election or if another candidate might be fielded in what has been described as a challenging constituency for the party. As the political landscape in Sengkang GRC continues to evolve, the PAP's decisions regarding candidate selection will be closely scrutinized ahead of the next general election, which must be held before November 2025. With the Workers' Party having a strong foothold in the area, the PAP's strategy to reclaim the GRC will be of great interest to political observers and residents alike. We invite you to share your thoughts on the developments in Buangkok CC and the political dynamics in Sengkang GRC. What do you think about the PAP's strategy and the role of new faces like Marcus Lowe? Please leave your comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230. 
For more in-depth coverage and analysis of Singapore's political scene, 